Dear Honorable Viewers and all the students of MHC in Entomology, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah. Welcome to the discussion on the wing coupling mechanism in insect. If you have already subscribed in my channel, thank you very much. If not, please subscribe in my channel. And for this, click on the subscribe button below the video. And then click on the bell icon and finally click on the option all. The question is describe the wing coupling mechanism in insect. Answer. In primitive insects, the two wings probably moved independently, but in all modern pterygoids, there is an excellent coordination or mechanisms exist to achieve this condition among the panelpoid orders the coupling depends on modifications of the bases of the wings the forewing possessing on its posterior margin a small zogal loop while the anterior margin of the hind wing is produced into a small humeral loop. In the Macoptera, both lobes bear a few relatively long bristles, the zugal ones lying on top of the hind wing in flight while the humeral bristles for the frenulum which presses against the underside of the forewing. In the Trichoptera and some Monotrician Lepidoptera, the zogal area is produced into a lobe like fibula or more elongate zogam which lies on top of the hind wing during flight but may be folded beneath the forewing at rest. Frenular bristles are absent or small in these insects but there is sometimes a more distally placed series of coastal spines. The pseudofrenulum on the hind wing which functions independently of the zogam by pressing against the anal area of the forewing, Exampigratia, Shevatinka, or a series of interlocking hairs on the basal half of the hind margin of the forewing and the fore margin of the hind wing, Exampigratia, Nesarchia. In most higher lepidoptera, a pseudofrenulum across occurs only in some lower families. The zogam is almost invariably lost and 
the frenulum usually assumes great importance. In females, it generally consists of a group of stout bristles which lies beneath the extended forewing and engages their in a retinaculum formed from a patch of hairs near the cubitus. In males, the frenular bristles are fused into a single stout structure which is normally held by a carved process from the subcostal vein of the forewing as well. Finally, in the papilionoidea and many bombicoidea, the wings are coupled simply by overlapping basally the so-called amplexiform method. Among other orders, the hymenoptera have a hamulet type of wing coupling in which a row of small hooks hamuli on part of the coastal margin of the hind wing cast in a sclerotized fold along the hind margin of the forewing. In many hemiptera, the wings are held together in flight by various small hooks or folds along the wing margins, while in the socoptera, the costa of the hind wing is held by a spiny or hooked process of the node where the second cubital vein of the forewing reaches the margin. After Im's general textbook of entomology, 10th edition, page 54 to 56. Thank you very much for watching and keep watching for the next video.